So hello and welcome everybody to another Jeffrey's Joy 6 video here. Um, so I've not had much progress with the case because the weather's still rotten so I just need to make do with the little tasks that still need to be taken care of. So tonight I'm hoping to use this um, wannabe Dremel. Um, I'll flip mode that for the camera here. Um, yeah, this Dremel kind of wannabe thing here, um, that I got from Aldi's for like, what, 20 quid or something, so, I'm going to give it a go, last time I used a, a genuine Dremel from a friend of mine, so we'll give this a test run and see what kind of chaos it, it happens, so, if you are going to undertake this, then, yeah, got gloves on. And I've also got protective eyewear on also. You know, I'll be able to see that for this angle here. So, fingers crossed all goes well. Um, we'll see how this fares out. I'm just going to point it away first hand. Right, here goes nothing. Take the piece round, get a better angle. And what I'll say is this thing is making very light work, so I need to be careful that I don't go too deep. Because, bear in mind, I can sand it down. Oh, there's a cutting disc flying off. Whew, I was lucky. And the unfortunate thing is, is it's literally on the last piece as well. Right, okay. Let's make sure that this actually comes off. Switched off. <sighs> Close, but so far to. Not to worry, just gonna put the mic down for a wee sec. First hand, like I said, it's phew, very light work of that. It's crazy though how it managed to shear off. I'm almost there as well. That's a frustrating thing. Like because to let you in on it is actually quite a bollock to try and uh, do all this. So. Quite lucky though. So, yeah, like I said, it's just any time the weather's actually half decent, I'm working, so it's just one of those frustrating things. And yeah, it's just. Obviously UPS let me down something chronic at the weekend as well. Very seldom I get a weekend off. But when I did, I could have at least got the paint removal done on the old case. However, like I said, I've got history with UPS in the past, so. 
that didn't really surprise me. So I had to pick up my parcel and then I'm going to have to spend time to chase up the seller to have my Saturday premium delivery cost reimbursed to me and then it's just a, a learning curve that um, I'll not be uh, doing any premium deliveries as long as UPS is concerned I'd rather use a more reputable delivery company one that's got a little black and white cat we red vans won't say the name though but I'm pretty sure you've got a rough idea who I'm on about so yeah this little kit here comes with all the bells and whistles here you'll not be able to see it from that angle so but I've got a secondary camera set up so it's just a case of getting one of these cutting discs out again fun but like I said it's just like there's a bit of pollock to try and get that balanced on the washer first hand before I begin let's get this screw set up with the washer first so come with the time I can just slap that in and get screwing oh my innuendos this evening and the thing is once I actually get the cutting done I'm going to have to try and buff it out sand it down I'm not entirely sure whether I should do it by hand or maybe try one of those maybe one of these wee pieces here hmm On. Just like that. And hopefully, I can just screw in. had to jump out didn't you? Of course you did. Right, in that case, pop him there. I can't lose this little thing. There we are. Probably is a, an easier way of doing this but I just like to make things a wee bit difficult. Right. And to rotate left just to get the threads engaged there we are so I'm not entirely sure if I stated this in a previous video but the reason why I'm cutting away these little cylindrical pieces and I will eventually smooth them down is because for the sandwich joystick I need to have it that that area there try and show you properly here so yeah once I remove these little cylindrical pieces and sand them down um, I, like I said I don't know if I said in the previous videos um, but basically yeah the sand must stick needs to sit flush in these areas here so uh, yeah that's why you need to clear those pieces away if you want to get yourself a more premium uh, joystick if you do decide to try your hand at this let me 
legs I'm just going to try and tighten that up and there we are that's it lock that into place and then I can tighten this up even better I hope that this job off. Not bore you too much, but it's just just a wee insight because, like I said, I can't get any casework done for painting because good old Scottish summer weather. And then, like I said, seems to be glorious weather when I'm working. So I'm just gonna. Tighten the chuck a wee notch. So hopefully nothing comes flying off this time. That seems fairly sturdy. So I'm going to kick this chair back. Get myself back into position for the final cut. Oh, gloves. Just in case anything comes flying off. It's got some material to kind of catch or snag. Cool. Right. Yeah. Just like that. So yeah, I'll conclude this video and then once I sand this down I'll show you the results on the Instagram, Facebook. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of the reason why, why you need to achieve, you know, why you need to do this. It's just so that you can get your, get your joystick slipped in there. So I'll just try and show you in this camera here. Slight delay on the camera tonight. I'll just show you in this one as well. Yeah. You can see I've got a wee bit of sand in to get on with. You can see one of the areas, that one there, has done pretty well, but the others have still got a bit of meat on them, but they're just just too much for me to try and cut with such a tool. I'd probably end up going deep into the, the joystick recess and making a right Mickey Mouse of it. So, hope you enjoyed the small video this evening. And like I said, I'll fire up the results on the, the socials once I've finished sanding, cleaning up. And yep, I shall see you all on the next one. Cheerio. So yeah, just to finalise, this is the end result. And um, basically how I achieved this was that um, I used this kind of sanding piece here so you'll get this with the kit if you decide to buy one of these from Aldi's um, and all I was doing was I was basically coming down top down like that because it's more or less the same which is very handy and then all I was doing was I was just going round in a circle like that in that kind of motion um, I'll maybe try it, I'll maybe take the risk so bear with me, try it there was a power on. There we are. Let's see if I can try and get a wee bit closer and show you. So 
so no pressure. Just let the machine do the work. And just go around in a circular motion like that. I'm going to try this one. It's got a slight ridge on it. You can see that, yep. What I will state is, is that patience is key. Take your time with it. It's not a bad, not a bad result. At the end of the day, I'm not striving for for perfection, and um, yeah, I mean, I could just run it over like very, you know, very sign, uh, very fine sandpaper, like I don't know, eight hundred grit. But I mean, overall, it'll do rightly. Just a wee clean up, wee wee vac. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to raise the camera up and then I'm going to try and flip mode this back onto the, the monitor again. <sighs> try and get that back on the top down view again. Best I can. No. Yeah, and then... Draw it downwards. Right. So you've saw the desired effect anyway, and the technique that I used in order to get uh, get that appearance. So likewise, you saw the the kind of tool that I was using, the sanding piece. Just let the camera focus on that. So that was that. Speed setting was set on three. And then you saw the technique that I was using. And yeah, just 
I can't stress this enough, but just take your time, be patient. More or less, allow gravity in the machine to do the work for you, and you'll be fine. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, even if it was like a wee cut scene. But like I said, it just it would have taken too long for me to, you know, unloosen the chuck from the, you know, the cutting desk. Finding because this chuck here that I've used is different than the one that I used for the cutting disc, so it wasn't just a straight swap. I had to suss out, um, you know, this chuck here. I'll try and remove it from its from its wee case here. So I don't know if you can see that, but that was that was the one that I was using um, for the cutting disc. Yeah. Basically, I had to take that out, pop that back in its wee bit, and then I had to go and find and use a slightly smaller um, piece for the chuck. So it was all that time wasted, you know, unloading, unloosening, tightening, and then doing the thing itself. But at least it's a small, a small video. A small demonstration of how I achieved uh, that goal in the end there. So hopefully that inspires you to have a go at it yourself. And like I said, I can't stress this enough. Just to take your time. Um, yeah. And if you really did want to be picky, you could run some sandpaper over the top of it if you want. But I'm not going to bother because the joystick's going to cover that anyway. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and hopefully I'll bring out more content, but it's just, as it currently stands, the Scottish weather is still continuing to be a Scottish summer, summer where we're getting four seasons in one day, so it's unsuit unsuitable for uh, painting, unfortunately. So I just need to bide my time. Um, but yeah. Keep an eye out for the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one. Cheerio.